What's good, everybody, and welcome back. That's a lot of wind noise. Welcome back to the Lockout Men podcast show. As always, we're just going to go in and get straight to the point and jump right into it. So listen, listen, new drivers that's graduating out of truck driving school in 2022. It amazes me how much expectations you guys expect when y'all get into this industry man y'all greenhorns y'all don't even have y'all don't even have your feet in the water yet and you're coming out of the gate inspecting a lot for what you're giving is a little you gotta learn you gotta learn you gotta crawl before you walk man you can't just start walking a lot of entrepreneurs and a lot of a lot of successful people didn't start at the top. They didn't, you know what? They didn't even come in inspecting a lot. They just came in to do something just to get their foot in the door. Let's take my man Puff Daddy, for example. When he came in the door, he wasn't even getting paid. He was just happy to be in the industry just soaking up the knowledge from Andre Harrell, doing everything for free, running to get coffee, doing that, doing this, that, and the third, just to prove himself. That's what you guys got to do when you come into this industry. You got to prove yourself. A company ain't going to give you what you want right out the gate. They're going to give you what they think you're, they're going to give you what they think and then you're going to have to train, learn, practice, and get better from there. That's what you're going to have to do. And that's that's in, 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 in the industry. A person that graduate out of college, right, with a bachelor's degree. Now, even though they get their bachelor's degree, they can probably negotiate a little bit of their worth. But still, a company ain't going to give you a multi-million dollar contract and then they don't know nothing about you. Just like a company is not going to put you in, in the seat of a $100,000 vehicle and they don't know nothing about you. So it, it amazes me how you guys just come in to the, in, into the group and just start right off rambling about what you guys want. You got to understand it, 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 it don't work that way. It don't work that way. This man says fresh out of school with a new CDL looking for work. He wants 75 cent plus. He wants his home daily. He say he wants a route that goes from Chicago to Seattle. And he says DM him with your offers. Now, you know what? Chicago, you know, them Ukrainians, them uh, Russians, they might give you a chance. They might give you 75 cent a mile. They might. They might. They, they might not even look for experience because they really want somebody to fill that truck. But I tell you what, bro, an inexperienced driver can make for a, a world of problems. See, some companies don't even care about you. They just care about the money that they're making because you got to understand something. You're making them money. You want 75 cent a mile, but they charging about a dollar, dollar 50 to move the freight. Think about it that way. Let's put it that way, man. All right. You know, most me mega carriers, because that's what you're going to start off with. If you're lucky enough to start off with a small company that's willing to train you, cool, awesome. But I don't think that small company is willing to give you 75 cent a mile either. But if they're willing to train you, that's a good thing. Because, see, it's all about getting your experience, man. That's what it's all about. The money comes when you get your experience. So always concentrate on that first before you even concentrate on asking for how much money again the insurance for these companies 
definitely not going to approve you. Fresh out of school, fresh CDL, haven't even got into, haven't even got good in the back of a, in, in the seat of the truck. And you asking for 75 cents a mile? Hell, we got drivers that been out here for 20, 30 years making less than that, bro. As a company driver. Might be wrong. I might be wrong, but I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Your starting rate, depending on what company you go to, and if you already have your CDL, you're going to you're gonna garner anywhere from 35 cents to maybe up to 40, 47 cents a mile. Sometimes you might get lucky to touch the 50 spot. You know? Now, if you're able to touch the 50 spot, maybe the 60 spot, then you're looking you're looking more towards uh 1099 and that's a whole different ball game in itself bro that's a whole different ball game in itself all right the only companies that will pay you what you want are companies that have at least years of experience all right years of experience so I hope you I, I hope you take this and you know listen. And like I said, I, I may not be the best person to get the best advice, but I've been out here for a long while and my experience speaks for itself. You know what I'm saying? I can turn around and garner up to 75 cent if I want because I've been out here for a minute. But for a person that's coming into this industry, over here talking about what well, I want 75 cents a mile. I want to be home daily. And uh and I I want a specific route to run. My best suggestion to you, bruh, is to just go ahead and buy your own truck. And then do trial and error that way. But I will suggest this. I'd rather for you to go to a company and mess up their trucks while getting your experience in than messing up your own truck trying to do something that trying to do something that you think is easy and is not. I'm like Beethoven with the bass on it. Me, classic kids, went pop. Death to the hater won't stop. Let's talk key scales, won't drop. You don't even need a scale to know I'm on top. Me and Mozart, the bars got pops. Urge right to Tiffany, a whole symphony. You a symptom, me, but go off. I'll make a masterpiece for you, or at least it's gonna hit like rum, pump, pump. Y'all fit to me like the symphony. Your career's done, done, done.